Okay, so Call of Duty World War Two. Here we go. Let's uh, let's have the opinion on it, as uh, everybody's been asking me. But before I crack on with the commentary, I just wanted to say a belated Happy New Year to everybody, and uh, a belated hello to everybody. Sorry, yeah, quite a while, isn't it? Sorry about that. Like Santa Claus, I come around once a year now. I think the last time I spoke to you was about New Year's after New Year's last year but yeah a bit of a crappy year last year a bit of a crappy old year um, and moving house and stuff so I've just been consumed last year and uh, I've, I've sort of made that a little bit clear possibly not too clear but um, I haven't been very engaging so apologies for that I'll try I'll try, I'll try to endeavor a little bit this year so yeah all that aside let's crack on Call of Duty World War 2 wow what can we say about this game? I know everybody's done their my thoughts on, my opinions, the good, the bad and the ugly and uh, all those kind of related videos and you're just kind of getting this now and it's like, yeah, we know, we know what the game's like. It's like meeting a bunch of people who've ate at a restaurant for the last God knows how many, you know, a couple of months and they've been there every day, 25 times a day and all of a sudden you walk in and say, hey, here's what I think about this. People would be like, well, we know, we're eating here, we like it here or my friend was eating here and now he's gone and gone to another restaurant, you don't need to tell us anything well this is just how I feel about it and this is my little rant to a certain degree because believe it or not there's something about this game that I actually like and keeps drawing me in I've got to I'm ready to put third prestige now I think so that's more the time and effort that I've put into this than I did with Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered all bundled into one spheric ball you know this is more time I've invested into this game and I don't know why there's something about it that I like and I shouldn't like it's like a guilty pleasure like I don't know watching a bomb fight or something you know watching a YouTube video on two tramps being paid to knock the piss out of each other you shouldn't watch it you shouldn't like it but you kind of watching wow that was good that was entertaining how awful but uh yeah that was terrible have you got another video on that <laughs> is there any more of those but yeah shouldn't like it but something keeps dragging me back in but when i'm dragged back in i'm finding that the frustration is unbelievable i mean to the point where i've, I've lost my voice a few days um controllers have been destroyed not thrown but just gripped very hard and crack and that little snap and stuff like that and it's just it has that effect and mainly the the majority of it is down to a few things the hit detection is one of my biggest issues i i know people have said play hardcore you should play hardcore you'd really like hardcore it's a, it's a few bullets to kill and it's so much fun and you, the bullets do what you want them to do hardcore for me is just a little bit too much it's a little bit too much to the extreme i don't like the one to two bullet kill and i certainly don't like the one to two bullet death i don't mind the one to two bullet kill i don't like the one to two bullet death that's what i mean um it almost seems to just it's too much you know I, I, anything in between what we've got with the standard game you know sort of game modes and what you get with hardcore anything in between that i think would sort of meet as a call of duty ghost hit detection that i would be really happy with but it frustrates me because I'm not a sniper, you know, I'm, I, I don't snipe. I can quick scope on this, believe it or not, and I think anybody can quick scope on this because the quick scoping is insanely bad. I mean, I've got so much footage which I'm going to put together in another video. I'm quite excited about doing these videos because I have got time now. And I've got so much quick scope footage and sniper footage that shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't happen. So many crosshairs are uh, 25 inches to the left of the people they're hitting and it's all a one hit kill. So the sniping is something that I think really has to be fixed. And I, w I would honestly believe that most people who snipe would agree with that and say, yeah, that, it is a little bit weird and a little bit over the top, but hey, don't fix it because we love it because we can quick scope and be like phase all day long. No, it's bad. But um, the guns for me need buffing. Don't nerf anything to bring it down apart from the sniper rifles. But everything else needs a pump. The shotguns are crap. The submachine guns are just very underwhelming. And the assault rifles, are just, they don't do it for me. You know, the, the bars had about two really wicked nerfs to it. And it's like, don't, don't nerf it down. Buff everything back up. Buff everything on an even keel. And then make it fun to use submachine guns. I've got a couple of submachine guns that I really like, the Type 100 I think, I've got a variant on that, I think it's Righteousness or Righteous or something, that's the one I use more than anything, I like the balance of it, I like the stability of it, but it takes six bullets to kill somebody and that's too much for me, plus I like to put a suppressor on, sometimes it's you know, between five and seven bullets, too much. Um, and what also makes that very difficult, and this is my other bugbear with this game, is the whole speed of movement. Everybody moves around 10 to the dozen. It's like 
I don't know if anybody, I'm going to show my age a little bit here, but if anybody's seen the old Benny Hill programs from years ago, back in the 70s, 80s, they'll probably show them in America now. I know Americans know a bit about Benny Hill. But at the end of Benny Hill, he would kind of get himself in a situation where, I don't know, he would like grab a woman and pull her jacket off and her top would come off and she'd show her bra and then she'd go and mad at him and start chasing him. And then the music would kick in, and she'd be chasing him down the road and the legs would be going super fast because it was all fast forwarded. And he'd run into a changing rooms and then all of a sudden run out and a load of women footballers would be chasing him out the changing room, scantily clad. And he'd have a big chain of people behind him chasing him around and the legs would move that fast. That's what Call of Duty World War II looks like to me, you know? Not from my perspective, but from the perspective when I see somebody else. You know, somebody will, will run past me and I start shooting them and they move that fast. I have to have my sensitivity on eight to keep up with them. And I hate having high sensitivity because it throws my aim off. I'm not into that. So I think they've, they've kind of, bearing in mind they've had three years to do this and they've had six years and nine years before other titles that they've managed to put their grubby hands on Sledgehammer. Um, you would think that they think, right, okay, we've got to understand the balance between speed of gameplay and speed of characters. Um, there's many other games out there where the, you know, Battlefield 4, I know I keep going back to Battlefield, but for me that's the kind of milestone that a game should reach. It's balanced, the servers are good, the speed of the gameplay is good, the understanding of how characters move, you know what you need to do. You know the sensitivities you need to have and you understand exactly where you need to be to get your, um, you know, to get your acquired kills and things like that. Why can't they ever look at things like that? They've had enough time to learn the balance between speed of game and speed of characters where you don't need to make a character super fast to say, yes, it's a fast-paced gameplay. It's just too sweaty for me, you know? But like I say, I, I'm going to have to keep interjecting with this. I actually like the game. I just don't like where it is at the moment. I don't like it in its current state. There needs to be some massive fixes. The net coding is the other thing with it. The net coding is all wrong. All wrong. Now... I use a NetDoomer, I'm a NetDoomer user. Okay, I've just recently been, um, I've just recently acquired a new NetDoomer because my last one bricked. And the great thing about the NetDoomer is when you go into the geo filter, you can see the host that you're connecting to. And if you don't like a certain host, you can give them a sort of rating, which is almost like a bit of an avoid thing. And sometimes, nine times out of 10, the hosts that I connect to are the ones that I temporarily ban because the, the dedicated servers are really bad. Whenever I connect P to P, it's it's not too bad. But as soon as I jump on one of these dedicated servers, which I would imagine look something a little bit like this, <laughs> manned by this guy, uh, you know, like I say, going back to Battlefield 4, if you think that this is what they're this is what they're using, these are the dedicated servers, big powerhouse machines can power nuclear weaponry all over the world, and you know, manned by guys in overalls and jackets and glasses, bald heads, writing things down on paper and looking and putting the pen in the mouth and looking thoughtfully at the machines and then nodding their head and writing something else down. You know, real thoughtful, yeah, let's connect to that. The gameplay is going to be brilliant, everything's going to be smooth. Whereas with COD World War II, you're connected to a potato and, you know, connected to a string of other potatoes by wires. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I mean, come on, you know, and anybody who's having a great connective experience with this, you're either lying or deluded. The servers are absolutely garbage, and I think with the money that is pumped into this game, multi-millions multi of pounds that is pumped in and paid through supply drops and God knows one thing and another, it's just frustrating when you get these servers that don't seem to be able to handle the pace of traffic that's coming in. It's why, you know, it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest gaming franchise out there, and it's terrible to play at the moment. You know, there are many things I could go into that are, are driving me nuts about this game, but there are positives about it, and I will pick up on those on another day and another time, another commentary. I don't want to do everything in one commentary and go, wow, I've run out of things to talk about. But these are the bugbears that I have at the minute. You know, skill-based matchmaking shouldn't be there. I don't know why Sledgehammer have brought it back. That it's not casual gaming anymore. I think, that, isn't it called casual play in the <laughs> when you go in the lobby? Hey, do you want a casual game? It's not a casual game, man. You know, you're playing against sweaty kids with, like, you know, G Fuel and Gatorade slugging down their neck and scuff controllers and control freaks and, you know, full of sugar and full of life and energy and vitality and obviously have quicker reactions than an old dog like me who are there ready, come on, I want to get in there, I want to play and I want to scuff it up and I want to jump shot, I want to drop shot. 
which is another bloody thing that annoys me about the game is the jump shots the drop shots the jump shots the blop shots everybody's hopping around i did say in one commentary a while ago i said oh, i can't, I, can't yeah, I just can't see how the infinite warfare generation and the black ops 3 generation are going to be able to deal with the boots on the ground game i think it's going to be a big shock to them and somebody came back and said oh, i think you'll be surprised i think they'll actually manage quite well and i thought no they're not going to be jumping about they're not going to be used to this it's not going to work actually it works brilliant for them <laughs> you know they've still got stick and move as one of the options in the controller section so everybody's just running stick and move and jumping around and it's a nightmare to a certain degree yes i've tried it myself and it works i just don't like jumping about so like i say these are gripes of mine i'm not necessarily saying that the game is terrible and everybody should listen to me because you know if i think this about it then you should think it about it but these are just my problems with the game and i think you know judging from things like the servers the net coding and uh, i would say definitely the weakness of the guns and that everything needs a good buff of steroids to bring it back back up to par that uh, i think most people would agree with that it's just the other little things and my own little personal niggles that um that i'm not altogether too happy with when it's good it's good you're going to see some gameplays that i'm going to be showing that people will go well you actually did really well there those are the gameplays that are quite good you know, those are the servers that I've connected to that seem to run smooth and are nice or the P2P um, connections are working out for me and I'm having a great time. And when I come home, I'm like, wow, I enjoyed that. That was a great night. I get in my car the next day, I drive to work. And I'm thinking, that was awesome last night. Oh man, I felt like a king amongst men. I can't wait to get back and play that tonight. And then you go back and play it and it's like as if you've never played a Call of Duty in your life. This is your first time. Somebody's giving you a control and you're like, oh, what, what do I do with this? Okay, that's R2, that shoots, that's L2, that's, uh, you know, getting all your information. And it's like, oh, I'm getting ruined. I can't play this anymore. That's how this game is. It makes you feel great one minute and really bad the next. I heard a guy in the lobby the other day. I normally mute people, but I heard this guy say, oh my God. This game is absolute cancer. Now, for somebody like me who's lost somebody very close to me, whenever you hear people throw the C word about it, it's like, don't use that, it's a little bit overused, but it's such an extreme expression of something that's so horrible, you almost look and go, yeah, it is, it does, it gives me cancer, it gives me AIDS. It's, ugh, it's terrible. I don't know, but we still come back. Like I say, like watching a bum fight, or two dwarves in tighty whitey underpants having a bare knuckle anything goes fist fight. Guilty pleasure, shouldn't watch it, very bad for your eyes, but somehow satisfying and quite fun. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you uh, enjoyed the commentary, sorry it's been a while as I say, but uh, yeah, we're going to end over, we're going to get a few more in here. I've got that much footage to show, I just, I just need the time and I've got a bit more time on my hands, so that's good news for everybody, well for me, I don't know about you, or not be for you, but hey, here we go. So thanks for watching guys, all the best and I'll see you on the next one.